गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तबागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम परानुसीपुरपति भज विशनाथ वागीशजुषु बदने लक्ष्मीजस च वक्षसी जैसेस्तिदुसंबीसिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आदानुस्तीन दंतरीद जाचे पुनः पुनः सीमादुपदाबुजधुलि स्वां जन्म जन्म आदान स्त्रीण दंतरीद जाचे पुनः पुनः श्रीमदूपदाबुजधुलि स्वां जन्म जन्म गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट रूपानुग आउट ऑफ ऑल द रूपानुग जस्ट टू गेट द डस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ द रूपानुग डिवोटिस दैट इज अवर प्राइम टारगेट ऑफ आवर एक्चुअल भजन दैट इज द एक्चुअल आइडियलिज्म फॉर अस टू फॉलो दैट टू गेट दैट गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट ऑल दोज रूपानु गन टू जस्ट बिकम द डस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ देम दैट इज द प्राइम टारगेट ऑफ अवर भजन लाइफ वी जस्ट नीड टू अटेन दैट इन अवर भजन लाइफ रूप गोस्वामी पाथ जस्ट टू गेट द लोटस डस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ द वॉट इज द एक्चुअल स्पेशलिटी इन दैट एंड रूपानु ग डिवोटिस that does particles what is the actual speciality in that what is the actual uh, secret behind that about this it just by explaining it propa deeply explaining it with full uh, details of that that shila rup goswami paths that seva the bhav of seva all the seva mood of rup goswami pad and the actual beauty beauty of shila rup goswami pad the actual beauty of shila rup goswami pad that rup majjari means that shila rup goswami pads that shila rup goswami pads that actual seva mood everything what you can see that uh, it is actually inside bhagwan shri krishna he is actually lot of uh, lot of desire is there inside the heart of krishna uh, regarding the seva of rup goswami pad i'll be just discussing it tomorrow very very surprising and very uh, amazing thing which we can uh, feel that up till this point also shila sanatan goswami pad swayam and who is the actual guru of shila rup goswami pad he is also speaking the same that uh, i want to become rupanuga i want to become rupanuga that i want to become rupanuga you see sanatan goswami pad himself speaking this point that he also wants to become rupanuga everyone wants to become that only ragunath das goswami pad about that what to speak of him he is actually sanatan roop sanatan goswami pad roop goswami pad he has just got the topmost love and affection of sanatan goswami and roop goswami pad shragunath das goswami pad is just getting the actual uh, nourishment of the love and affection of sanatan goswami pad and shila rup goswami pad so much love like a, a small brother he is giving them because at that time uh, in front of mahaprabhu 
uh, that uh, he is living there in front of mahaprabhu that that opportunity to live uh, with mahaprabhu that to stay with mahaprabhu that kind of uh, topmost benefit that shila sanatan goswami that our shila ragunath das goswami pad has just uh, got that or uh, not not this much but also when ragunath das goswami just like indra has so much opulences and just like a uh, heavenly planet that wife is there everything he has just uh, uh, just uh, left everything and uh, in front of mahaprabhu at nilachal dham he just came lot of uh, things are there and mahaprabhu ji is speaking to ragunath das goswami pad and about his swarup he actually uh, he handed over ragunath das goswami pad to swarup goswami mahaprabhu himself speaking that swarup from now onwards that uh, you are i am actually giving ragunath das to you and you just uh, need to tell him how to do bhajan now uh, you have to take care of his nourishment and uh, his bhajan activities and up till that point from that day swarup er raghu it is said means that uh, ragunath are lot of there ragunath bhat is there etc lot of ragunath is there that's why raghu swarup er raghu it's actually one marking is being done by mahaprabhu why because swarup raghu means that uh, persons can understand that what mahaprabhu actually speaking that he who actually has handed over everything to mahaprabhu that's why aur inke vairagya ke bare mein and about his own vairagya whatever you will speak inke bhajan ka rahasya ke bare mein jitna bhi bolu phir bhi kam whatever kind of about bhajan they are speaking it is very much less because bhav and language we know that that i know the actual language and bhav in this material world that bhav and language it is actually compensating factor to each other i know that in this material world that bhav and language it is a count uh, compensating factor to each other but when that uh, language when language that capacity of language is becoming very much low or weak when language is becoming weak that means that language is not going to that uh, capacity when the language that the limit of language is just uh, getting over is very weak then the then language is of no use at all then at that time that bhav is actually the compensative factor of bhav only that maybe in this material world also you must have learned or heard that this material uh, world that love of passion of this material world this love of passion of this material world sometimes it's like that that with an eyes only with eyes contact with others that with uh, your heart is connected with the heart of other and no, no you can't speak anything to that person then only the indication of the eyes is more than enough that is love of passion that i have already heard in the childhood about this love of passion that this poem in english english poem i have already heard in uh, the childhood that language is all the time not at all successful every time that uh, after language also something will remain left and about transcendental world what to speak of that that is in the upanishads it's already written it's strictly prohibited there in upanishads also that material language material bhav and material mind material intellect nothing will work in that transcendental world that you don't have any kind of capacity to go into that transcendental platform it is already material in nature this already uh, we have already understood this point previously that shila ragunath das goswami pats vairagya about that it is already written that on the stone also when you are actually writing something that it will not get rubbed at all 
that kind of vairagya ragunanda goswami pad is having so much money he is having so much opulence so much property name fame everything is there he has just left it that in chetan chitamrit already it is but still he is not at all liking it at all that uh, wife is just like a heavenly planet just like heavenly uh, planet but still uh, ragunath das goswami's heart is not at all there anywhere in that that whose heart is not at all uh, whose heart is just going away from all the material uh, opulences everything he they are going out of that then how he will uh, think all these things as good material things will uh, make him happy not at all it is not at all possible like that that amrit that this bhagwat amrit nectar of this uh, bhagwat that bhakti nectar of bhakti what bhagwan he is already speaking in 10th canto to uddhav ji maharaj that nectar with that nectar this whole material world that kind of poison of this material world how you how it can become one and the same it is not at all possible like that at all it is not at all possible lot of time ragunath das ko swami pad from his house he has made lot of efforts to go out from his house he already made lot of efforts to so that he can escape from his house but his father has just uh, take him away uh, take him uh, to his house again and uh, there is one uh, uh, person and which is not allowing ragunath das go swami pad to go out from the house every time his father is doing the same and mahaprabhu also came one time in panihati and at that time in panihati mahaprabhu with mahaprabhu that ragunath das go swami went there and uh, the, his father uh, make sure that uh, all his uh, servants and all his money he has given to ragunath das go swami so that he should not run away from there and he went to mahaprabhu he started uh, requesting mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu speaking to ragunath das go swami pad he is speaking to ragunath das go swami pad he is targeting ragunath das go swami pad and sp- giving us a very nice uh, instruction to all of us that when ragunath das go swami pad speaking that i am not at all uh, liking this material world you just uh, take me in your shelter then mahaprabhu what he has spoken So you don't do this much of foolishness just be stable and go back home this mahaprabhu told to ragunath das don't become foolish don't become mad you go to your house immediately you go to your house and there you stay at your house that this material world they it is not a matter of joke that you are getting out of this material bondage this in gradual course of time definitely your bondage will get cut it will take time according to the time only this bondage of this material world will just uh, get escaped or you will destroy this material bondage after that before that no it is it is not at all possible before that what you can do mahaprabhu speaking that in order to go out of this material ocean is not a matter of joke it's not a normal thing it will take some time with the time only it will go away this material bondage and and after that mahaprabhu speaking you no, don't do vairagya just like monkeys don't show your vairagya like monkeys this is very important point mahaprabhu that preliminary whatever kind of instructions he has given out out of that this is the topmost point what mahaprabhu is speaking on to the basis of that this all shuddha bhakti that the samrajya of shuddha bhakti is uh, actually getting uh, fixed up on this which are only what i am speaking now और मोरकोट को 
Just like monkeys don't do vairagya like that at all. Like monkeys externally, they are showing lot of vairagya. But if someone actually giving some fruits or something, then immediately they will show their actual nature. So this is the actual rules. This is the actual rules of monkeys. That's why Mahaprabhu is speaking that like monkeys don't show your vairagya like that. Don't uh, put your efforts to show your, yourself as a monkey. Whatever is useful, you just uh, for your to maintain your body. Only that much you just need to take. That whatever is required for you in order to maintain your body, so that your body can get maintained. Only that much you just need to take. Just as the prasadam of Bhagwan, you just need to accept that, and that is more than enough. That is yukta vairagya. What that is called balanced vairagya. What is required, you are taking that much only. That in order just to take as a prasadam of Krishna, you just take that. Like in Kathopanishad also, it is written. In the Upanishad also it is written. In the Isho Upanishad. Not in Katho, in Isho Upanishad it is written. Now Mahaprabhu, this instruction to Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, this is actually Yukta Vairagya. The actual secret of Yukta Vairagya. It means that all the things that whatever are there in front of us or what we cannot see at all everything is for the service of Bhagavan Shri Krishna if you will use that in Krishna Seva then that is called and after that that is called actual Vairagya that in Vaishnavas there is no dry Vairagya at all you cannot see dry Vairagya in an actual Vaishnav all the time you can see but those who is Kapat Vaishnav then definitely you can see dry Vairagya dry Vairagya with, with that Bhajan has no connection at all Prabhupada Ji always used to used to speak this shlok. Siddhi do means that in his life that he is not at all feeling hatred toward this uh, material world and at the same time no attraction is there with this material world at all. He is not at all feeling uh, hatred as at the same time no attraction is also there. That is actually called balanced Vairagya, Yukta Vairagya. That with material world he is n- not at all feeling hatred. He is just feeling hatred. It's not like that. He is not at all feeling hatred also. And at the same time he is not at all feeling attraction also. That for him Bhakti do can get Siddhi for that particular person who is having this quality which I have already told you. That is the actual formula. If you are taking too much or not by taking or not taking anything with both both the things you will uh, your bhajan will get destroyed. And in Upanishads also it is written. Then in this material world, wherever what you are seeing in the form of prasadam, you just need to take that. Apart from that, more than that you can't take. If if you are not at all doing Bhagavad Bhajan, even one drop, there is no kind of eligibility or capacity nobody is having to take. If he is doing Bhajan, then it's okay, he can take. Then Mahaprabhu Ji, just by speaking this, he just uh, sent Raghunath Goswami to his house. 
and the second what mahaprabhu speaking that you see whatever is required in order to maintain your body you just take that with the enjoying mood you don't need to take all this and not to take with the mind of just rejecting that not with that mood also whatever is required you just need to make for your maintenance you can uh, accept that so like this in the bhakti raja that uh, mahaprabhu has given us the actual instruction of yukta vairagya that everything what we are having in order to just serve bhagwan by that that is actually called yukta vairagya that yukta vairagya in order to understand is very much difficult to understand yukta vairagya is very much difficult mahaprabhu ji he just sent ragunath swami to his house why because now up till now he hasn't got the actual kripa of nityanand lotus feet of nitanand still lotus feet of nitanand is not at all attained yet by ragunath das goswami still it is uh, incomplete that task that's why mahaprabhu actually speaking like bali and sugriv in the ramayan you can know that concept as well that sugriv ji uh, balbali has just uh, uh, give, giving tonic to uh, sugriv and just beating him up so much but still ramchandra ji is not at all doing anything to bali now the, after that ramchandra ji speaking that uh, onto the lotus feet of lakshman anant dev we just need to take shelter first after you are getting sharnagati onto his lotus feet then only you will become mine otherwise it is not at all possible maybe i haven't signed any kind of agreement or something with you regarding this mahapacha ramchandra ji speaking in the same way ragunath das ko swami pad mahaprabhu is actually sending him back to his house and after that when when nitanand prabhu has just came to pani hati at the time of the festival of the hichida that kind of festival in order to celebrate that in our god sampradaya we already celebrate that that all kind of arrangements were done by nitanand prabhu at that time ragunath das goswami pad shriman nitanand prabhu has just given full kripa and speaking that when your material uh, bondage will just get cut it means that his material bondage is already cutted it's if he is in much um, if he is in material bondage then how it is possible that he is speaking like that but still shri manitanand prabhu ji speaking that when you will have to escape from your house how you will go out all kind of arrangement will be done by bhagwan you don't worry about that every arrangement will be done by bhagwan and already he has spoken that when you will go to nilachal dham dear shri man mahaprabhu parat parakileshwar he will just be handing over to you to swarup goswami and he will just, just send you to swarup goswami and shri that you will get the actual uh, uh, arrangement of the bhagwat seva of mahaprabhus that nitanand prabhu already speaking to ragunath das goswami about that now i don't have this much time to speak in details about this and like this uh, because ragunath das goswami pad used to uh used to uh, sleep in corridor in veranda there he don't used to sp- uh, sleep uh, inside the house and one time just by the arrangement of bhagwan he got the opportunity to no kind of servant no guard man is there every no one is there outside and he got the opportunity to escape from the house and at that time shriman mahaprabhu when he were even uh, when he just started living with shri man mahaprabhu what he has already seen and what he has understood ragunath das goswami pad is uh, whatever he has learned from swarup swarup tamodar gosai by the actual consent of mahaprabhu that you just uh, show him the actual pathway of bhajan that he is the actual parishad of mahaprabhu but still mahaprabhu 
in order to just teach us all bonded jivas mahaprabhu speaking like this to swarup damodar goswami that he got the all the instructions of bhajan from ragunath das goswami ragunath das goswami was act, uh, with swarup goswami swarup damodar goswami and mahaprabhu swarup damodar always used to stay with the mahaprabhu and govind also used to stay there with mahaprabhu and uh, shankar pandit also used to stay with mahaprabhu there only so much kripa of mahaprabhu he has got that you can't even imagine and and vairagya i can't speak because in manasiksha that uh, mahaprabhu's about bhajan of mahaprabhu in manasiksha in manasiksha ragunath das ko swami pad what he hasn't spoken what what not he has spoken everything he has spoken about the actual mystery of bhajan everything he has just spoken in this manasiksha ragunath das ko swami pad that he used to maintain his body and mahaprabhu himself mahaprabhu himself uh, to ragunath das ko swami has given one giriraj shila to him and one kunja mala both of them to do seva of uh, that giriraj shila he has given to ragunath das goswami it means what does it mean it means that it means that that uh, kunja mala along with the uh, giriraj shila he is actually giving the he has already given the lotus feet of radharani to ragunath das goswami and giriraj shila he has given for seva means that giriraj is swayam that on to the lotus feet of giriraj maharaj he has given both of them is uh, the correct statement one is that giriraj maharaj on to his lotus feet ragunath das swami was given by mahaprabhu and the second is that gunja mala just by giving that shrimati radharani's lotus feet she has given the surrender means that he has got the yugal kishor seva that yugal sar kishor seva that kind of eligibility he has given to ragunath das goswami bad that just to take prasadam and water about that kind of conception that if you will just hear then you will become mad by hearing that 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 night time all those pandas when they used to close the jagannath temple while going they are if some someone actually some in a bhiksha is required by someone they used to give and mahaprabhu asking to swarup gosai are ragunath das here actually how is not at all taking prasadam here so where he is taking prasadam how is maintaining his body swarup da some swarup gosai speaking he is actually outside jagannath temple some uh, panda actually just uh, by some so by kripa they are actually giving something then by that he is maintaining his body oh it's very good mahaprabhu speaking that this is the actual dharma acharan of vairagi this already written there this is the actual function of vairagi the actual symptom of vairagi that that is the actual symptom of vairagi and after that again mahaprabhu asking to swarup gosai are swarup gosai how he is actually maintaining his body swarup gosai that he is speaking to ragunath das goswami that uh, now he actually thinking that uh, in order to stand outside jagannath temple just to do bhiksha that is not at all good at all who will do who will not give this that definitely he will give me or he hasn't given so this kind of uh, false accusation can come inside his mind so how he is actually maintaining mahaprabhu speaking he is seeing that he is actually going into the chhatra where king always used to from the side of king that annakshatra there actually prasadam is distributed to all those pure sadhus and vaishnavas and mahaprabhu actually just by hearing that become very much happy oh that's very good that is very very good he is actually taking whatever is required he is taking that that is very very good and like this mahaprabhu about him he always used to ask about ragunath das goswami and father always used to send his servant 
that all his servants and guardmen lot of uh, money he used to send with the in uh, in the hand of the servants and guards and uh, the son will not come back he knows so you do one thing that you go to purushottam dham and there you stay and there at that place that whatever he wants you just give him money for that whatever is required money and whatever is required you give it to ragunath das goswami and ragunath das goswami use for his own purpose he will not at all use that money at all but in order to satisfy mahaprabhu he used to give nimantran to mahaprabhu according to him that kind of actual he always used to take that money with him and he always used to call mahaprabhu for prasadam so that the actual mangal of his mother and father can be done and a lot of days he has given nimantra and mahaprabhu taking prasadam with him and one day mahaprabhu asking to sarup gosai that sarup what happened ragunath actually not calling me for prasadam now that he stopped calling me for prasadam what is the actual reason immediately he has just uh, not calling me for prasadam sarup gosai actually just uh, speaking in front of mahaprabhu that prabhu he is actually thinking that this uh, my mother and father and relatives and uncles they are all material persons they are just like vaishnavs nowadays even tilak mala maybe you are doing or not still you are vaishnav huh? and they are also speaking yeah i am vaishnav like this huh? but the actual rule is not like that at all you need to understand the actual philosophy that with tilak mala that our actual symptom of the vaishnava that external tathast relation that internal swarup lakshan is cannot be getting uh, expressed in front of anyone in purushottam dham lot of people actually uh, thinking false wrongly about bhakti no thakur and one baba thinking about bhakti no thakur actually thinking wrong that he is giving so much instruction and doing all kind of what no diksha is being done of him and no mala tilak nothing is there what kind of part he is giving what instructions he is giving and after that that night from that night his bhajan fall down and he started thinking that where i have done the aparad and after that he just uh, take shelter of the lotus feet of bhakti vinod thakur and he is speaking to bhakti vinod thakur that you are uh, just forgive me and bhakti vinod thakur asking why you are asking me forgiveness then uh, i was thinking that you are doing all this instructions and part kirtan that no diksha is there of yours and no kanti mala and tilak is there then definitely bhakti vinod thakur started smiling and speaking that uh, baba yes you are right i have uh, up till now no i have not at all taken any guru initiation up till now and what to do no 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 you are definitely the nijijan of bhagwan eternal passion not uh, approximately definitely you are eternal parshad of bhagwan and i am 100% sure that you don't require any initiation from guru also because you are guru himself when so when by taking initiation then only that full grip of bhagwan only then only you have that eligibility in the shastras in south india now also that in the pure brahman community in south india those who are vaishnav that in whether he chief sampradaya or whatsoever now the actual rule still now is there after getting the gayatri sanskar only that about the only the actual meaning of the shastras can be taught to them before that it is not at all possible to teach them at all so like this that jani us sanskar is being done upanyan ceremony ceremony is done of a brahman before that it is not at all possible that is the actual praman of the shastras and here all these people now actually everyone is called vaishnav but mahaprabhu ji is speaking to ragunath das goswami about his father and relatives his uncle he is uh, mahaprabhu speaking about this uh, father and relatives what he is speaking if you will think uh, if you will hear that he used to give so much for all vaishnav he used to spend lot of money but definitely the actual truth mahaprabhu has just to speak about his father and relatives that ragunath father and his uncle they are actually the worm or insect of this material 
material uh, world that that kind of uh, the stool of uh, the material world just like that they are the insect of this material world and mahaprabhu speaking that that in order to just increase their enjoyment of material life they are actually thinking that this is the actual uh, enjoyment that his Ra- ragunath das goswami's father and relatives they are thinking that this uh, material enjoyment is everything the topmost but but mahaprabhu speaking that they are just like a stool or of an insect that his father and uncle they are not at all vaishnav at all mahaprabhu himself speaking they are vaishnav pray they are not at all vaishnav they are just like vaishnav they are not at all vaishnav because they are all the time busy in material vishay nowadays whatever is their material vishay whatever still when they are actually you are getting some kind of success then you are going to foreign country that is the actual uh, enjoyment for them and i am just started laughing oh my god what happened to this whole material world nowadays in this material world if ragunath das goswami will be staying then nobody will speak him goswami but they will speak those people goswami those who are totally material those are all number one cheater they are all number one fraudster so this is the actual rule of this material world this is the actual rule of maya devi what to do so mahaprabhu actually speaking that this is the vaishnav pray they are look like vaishnav but they are not at all actually vaishnav so it is not like that they are doing lot of spending lot of money on others on other vaishnavs they they are calling a that to sai or whether in navadev dham all those vaishnavs are there every money they used to give to them lot of money they used to spend on them but still means that brahman vaishnav lot of donation they used to give them but still mahaprabhu is speaking them as vaishnav ex fixed topmost vaishnav they are not at all considering them they are just like vaishnav mahaprabhu used to speak them like that and ragunath das ko swami pad why he is just not at all giving uh, nimantran to mahaprabhu because it is very much important to speak this in front of you swarup go sai speaking that ragunath inside his heart he is thinking that uh, this uh, father and uncle they are all material people and uh, just to take the prasadam from the if take grains or just by taking the money of the vishay people mahaprabhu used to love me that's why he will not speak no to me maybe inside prabhu that uh, topmost happiness is not at all getting by taking nimantran that's why he stopped giving this kind of nimantran to mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu became very happy and started laughing and definitely it's a very good point he already picked up my point that is very good and after that mahaprabhu giving this instruction that all those material people those who are all the time their heart and enjoyment is there towards the material things and those who are attracted towards the material objects for them it is written that if your mind will get very weak and mahaprabhu also speaking this point up that that all those material material persons who are inviting this is rajas nimantran and just by accepting that your krishna will not at all stay inside your heart at all that is actually rajas nimantran it is the in the mode of passion whatever kind of arrangement he is doing all those material vishayi jeevas they those who are giving bhandara and and those who are participating in that bandara have taken prasadam for definitely they need to <coughs> they need to follow the result both of them their heart will become very much contaminated with material things and mahaprabhu is speaking it rightly that for our actual instruction mahaprabhu this only that ragunath das goswami paaj that adarsh acharan everything just by understanding that then in that you can understand completely that what mahaprabhu wants to speak 
Raghunath Das Goswami was doing rightly because for both Data and Bhokta, both of their hearts will get contaminated and Krishna will not at all stay inside their heart at all. When Sarup Gosai and Sriman Mahaprabhu, yeah, they have just went where previously and uh, after that Sarup Gosai went and after going to Raghunanda Goswami path, they, but Raghunanda Goswami can't stay. So much pain is there inside the heart of Raghunanda Goswami that his uh, chest is getting uh, burst up. Like, someday I will be discussing this that this is the actual instruction of Raghunath Das Goswami Bad that the actual bhav of his heart that is the man the manasiksha shloka of Raghunath Das Goswami Bhav what is the condition of his heart Sanatan Goswami Bhav when he went away from this material world that Raghunath Das Goswami Bhav he has become mad just by crying and crying whole day where is Sanatan Goswami oh where Sanatan Ji you are that that who that so much handicapped I am that inside me no raga is there at all that just by forcefully in order to taste me the actual aprakrit taste rasa of the transcendental world forcibly he is giving me that transcendental rasa that I am blind I don't want to just taste but still he is forcefully giving me that actual kripa and giving that transcendental rasa just by taking me in their lap and they are just giving me that transcendental rasa that same Raghunath Das Goswami Pad the actual uh, Rena that for infinity period we cannot give at all it is not at all possible In order to rectify ourselves from the rin, that is not at all possible. That's why Raghunath Goswami Pad stopped this kind of nimantran because inside Mahaprabhu, his heart is not at all satisfied by ta- going to the nimantran of uh, Raghunath Goswami Pad. And after that, Rag- he is asking Swarup Goswami again. Now, n- actually, how this Raghunath, how he is taking prasadam, where he is actually staying, how it is going on for Raghunath Das Goswami. Then he stopped taking prasadam in Chhatra. How? Yes. What now he is taking? What is taking prasadam? That what prasadam of Jagannath you can see outside. It is being thrown to which is not at all uh, marketed in and it is becoming uh, all those Telenga ga- cows in front of them that uh, all those in Odisha that one particular place still is there now. There, all the rice and all prasadam is being thrown, all um, which is a very old prasadam, and all the cows are actually taking that prasadam, and Raghunath, they are actually taking prasadam from there, and then he is actually washing the rice, and with the salt he is taking prasadam, with salt he is taking prasadam, and Mahaprabhu become very happy, oh my God, very nice, very very nice, he become very happy. And Mahaprabhu becomes so happy that in Jatana Chirdamrit also it is written. That Mahaprabhu inside the heart of the devotees of Mahaprabhu, that Vairagya is the topmost. All everyone has the topmost Vairagya. That by seeing that Mahaprabhu becomes very very happy. Why? That Vishay and Bhagwan or uh, both cannot go hand in hand at all. It is not at all possible. Uh, all together they can't stay at all. If material things are there, then if Maya is there, then Bhagwan not possible. If Bhagwan is there, then Maya is not at all possible. Where there is Krishna, 
Maya having no eligibility to stay there at all. That in all the uh, uh, Mahaprabhu's eternal parishad, Vairagya is the topmost. By seeing that, Mahaprabhu become very much happy by seeing that. After that, Raghunath Asko Swami Pad taking prasadam, what he is taking now, that tel- telanga cows, in front of them he used to pick up those pras- prasadam and with so much water he used to wash that uh, uh, prasadam and after that uh, with some salt he used to take uh, rice. And uh, Mahaprabhu, that you already see in the photograph now, that Mahaprabhu actually asking Raghunath Das Goswami forcefully that he is taking some prasadam out of his patra, that prasadam of uh, from the patra of Raghunath Das Goswami. Somebody is speaking that Maharaj, how it is possible that Raghunath actually taking and Mahaprabhu is taking uh, uchist that you haven't understand what I am speaking. That about Jagannath Prasadam, it's already written in the Shastras. These rules are there. That they, already written in the Shastras that Jagannath Prasadam there is no kind of sparsh or no kind of uh, uh, this uh, Mahaprasad about Mahaprasadam but that is what is written in the newspaper a lot of time before at the time of uh, offering Prasadam if someone actually touches that then it or someone seeing the Prasadam then you can't uh, offer that to Jagannath at all this is definitely the point Understand? So here, it's already being offered. It is not at all offering. That Mahaprabhu, I have already seen on with my naked eyes. That very topmost uh, person having so much wealth, so much wealthy person, very rich. And after that, who is, who is that? I have already seen him. That he has just came there. And, uh, and very, he is actually very shudra person is taking prasadam and there also he sit and taking prasadam there. I have already seen that practically. It means that Jagannath Mahaprasadam, that kind of touching and sparsh, that uchist, this is not at all possible by making your mind in that. And it, there is no proof that Raghunath Goswami after taking prasadam, he is taking from that pot or after that he has taken. That Sarup Goswami, when uh, Mahaprabhu one time he is taking prasadam and taking in his mouth and speaking uh, that this kind of prasadam in my whole life that I haven't taken like that at all. That I am taking regular prasadam, different, different kind of prasadam I am taking. But this kind of prasadam, today what I have taken, this kind of taste I haven't got in my whole life. That kind of Mahaprasadam today, he is taking, used to speak Mahaprasadam, then taking Mahaprasadam. And Sarup, Sarup Gosai taking his hand, no, no, not, no, uh, you will not take more than this, it's more than enough. After that is, otherwise Mahaprabhu used to take it more. And uh, the about the Vairagya of Mahaprabhu, Sarup Goswami, Damodar Goswami, we have so much kripa by understanding the actual Vairagya of Mahaprabhu by the kripa of Sarup Goswami. The details are there, written in Sri Chaitanya Jiratamrit. This Mahaprabhu, this Mahaprabhu, to Raghu, on Raghunath Goswami, he has got so much kripa of Mahaprabhu that we can't even speak of that at all. When Mahaprabhu, that has just disappeared from this material world, when Sarup Goswami also got disappeared, just like mad uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, he is uh, going to Vrindavan. And after going to Vrindavan, inside his heart, he already think that from the Giraj, he will be jumping off from the Giraj mountain. And he'll, what is the actual use of living my life? Where Mahaprabhu is not there, why Sarup Goswami is not at all there, my Gurudev is not there, then uh, how I can live my life peacefully? And but Sanatan and Rup Goswami Bad has just uh, no, they are not at all allowing him to die. They are not at all allowing him to be getting killed. 
and this kind of sankalp of by killing himself they are just uh, uh, getting him onto their lap and just by speaking him as his small brother he is given him the title of his small brother and just uh, taking them with them and uh, ravunath das goswami whatever kind of leela with mahaprabhu what leela he has already uh, manifested in front of him all ka- leela ragunath das goswami path uh, from the lotus mouth of ragunath das goswami roop sanatan etc all used to hear that why because that in a self manifested form is coming out from the lotus mouth of ragunath das goswami path because he was actually pre- uh, physically present with mahaprabhu at that time and after just coming here swarup goswami by swarup goswami the actual instruction is given to us of that very deep vichar now actually is being started by Rav, by ragunath das goswami in association with swarup sanatan all the time used to discuss this deep vichar and that this ragunath das goswami pad just by taking the instructions of gosai he uh, started doing uh, bhajan in radha kund and sanatan goswami in between used to go there about his uh, small brother ragunath das goswami pad and what to speak maharaj one day what happened that he see saw that ragunath at the bank of radha kund he was actually crying and in uh, along with that there is one tiger who is taking water he is taking water from the kund and how it is possible you see and sanatan goswami pad actually after that he, he is speaking in a very loud voice and speaking to him don't do like that you just stay in your bhajan kutir inside you have to stay inside bhajan kutir don't go outside and after that all those brajwasis made one nice bhajan kutir for ragunath das goswami pad and after that he used to stay there after that at that bhajan kutir by the actual kripa of uh, ragun uh, gosai sanatan gosai and by the kripa of bhagwan and ab uh, what to speak about ragunath das goswami pad that in shad goswami ashtakam it is written all these things are written about ragunath das goswami everything after that he used to sit hari naam kirtan and all kind of granth he used to write and shastra that just to hear shastra all the time it is going on for ragunath das goswami by it's already written there na na sastra vicharo nahi kani puno sadarva sansthapu lokanam hitakarno tubavane manno sarana radha krishna padara vindavana nandina mattaliko bande rup sanatano rupusi and about varagya it is written it's already written about varagya as well that in the night time at the time of taking sleep there is no time of taking sleep rest as all at the night time also whole night that bhajan they are doing maybe sometimes they are taking some rest but whole night they are doing bhajan so like this is the case of ragunath das goswami pad that the varagya of ragunath das goswami pad and this ragunath das goswami pad this varagya that our shri lagor kishor das baba ji maharaj that it is completely reflected in the uh, inside gor kishor das baba ji maharaj prabhupad speaking that our guru pad padma shri guru shri lagor kishor das baba ji maharaj inside him that exactly the same reflection of varagya of ragunath das goswami pad i have seen that what it what's written here in this shloka it's already written already this proof is given even he is just speaking 2000 uh, vaishnav names and always used to do dandavat on to 2000 vaishnavs every day and and 2 lakh harinam definitely it is there that uh, maybe smaran dhyan leela everything is all the time going on in radha kund three times he is taking bath in radha kund but it doesn't mean that we will also take a, a bath in uh, radha kund this kind of uh, bad smelling body made of blood and flesh in to take this body in radha kund don't make this vichar of taking a bath in radha kund 
Raghunath Das Goswami path. He can take path in Radha Kund. That is a different point all the, to, altogether. That is a vichar of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. That this uh, uh, material body made of uh, blood and flesh, stool and urine, this so smell. This is just one sack of blood and stool and urine. Just by taking uh, this in and taking bath in Radha Kund, it's not at all good at all. This Prabhupada. Uh, actual others, actual which are of Prabhupada. That's why we are also actually very careful and cautious that uh, that uh, if uh, our if that our whole uh, bodily bad smell will go inside uh, Radha Kund. So that's Raghunath Das Goswami Pad always used to take three times and two lakh Harinam and two thousand Vaishnav on to Sashtang Dandvat he used to do. One one Dandvat and up till two thousand Dandvat he used to do. Understand the point? Jai Shri Sanatana Goswami Pad ki jai, then one dandvat, and again he is getting up, Jai Shri Larup Goswami Pad ki jai ho. Like this he is speaking 2000 Vaishnav names. And now you can understand what's the point. Hmm. He will actually, some person, he will just get die. How it is possible for Raghunath Das Goswami Pad? It is impossible. Everything is possible. So much topmost vairagya he is having. That he is doing bhajan with this kind of vairagya at the bank of Radha Kund. All the time he was actually deep into meditation and at the last time he also left uh, taking some prasadam. Previously Brajwasi used to take one some kind of prasadam for Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. And after two days, three days, maybe the, he is taking some one uh, pot of very small pot of uh, matha, of cow, cow matha he used to take. Very, very... Just on air, he is actually surviving. Very, very, his body is uh, transcendental in nature. So like this, he has given us these instructions in bhajan that that topmost, uh, topmost uh, uh, crest well of Sri Radha, Radha, Radha Govind, the seva, Jugal Charan seva, that kind of beautifulness of the topmost seva of Radha Govind, what he has seen practically, he is actually telling us uh, in that uh, form, in the form of Vairagya, what he is doing. Mahaprabhu, by the kripa of Mahaprabhu, by the mercy of Mahaprabhu, without the mercy of Mahaprabhu, this kind of Vairagya is not at all possible to get. It is not at all possible to even uh, follow this kind of Vairagya. Where Mahaprabhu's kripa is there, only then this Vairagya is possible to do. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. There has so many Madashyakam, there is just one book. So that in the, in the life of Prabhupada, he always used to follow that. Every day he used to read that. So Niyam Dadashkam of Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. Bhaktivinoda Thakur also has written about Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. That under the Nukatya of Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. Every day we have need to... I have already published it also. Daily you just need to read that. Swa Niyam Dashakam. Bhakti Nur Thakur and Prabhupada. They have just... Uh, and Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. In, at the last time. At the bank of Radha Kund. What he has uh, done seva there. At the bank of Radha Kund. That he has shown us the actual Leela. There what. At the bank of Radha Kund. And, but still. He is like for our instructions that he used that Dadashakam of Giriraj Maharaj he has written about the actual uh, importance of Giriraj Maharaj. He has written the glorification of Giriraj Maharaj. There Raghunath Das Goswami Pad has written in that Hey Govardhan, you just take the lotus feet on me that I should stay at the near your lotus feet. You give me your uh, place near your lotus feet. I don't have any place to live. Hey Govardhan, that you give me at the bank of, at the lotus feet of Govardhan Ji Maharaj, you give me some place. And Prabhupada always used to speak that this is was for our instruction that uh, Raghunanda Swami was speaking. But his actual place is in Radha Kund only. That Rati Manjari, she is Sanatan Goswami. That their place is uh, actually transcendental place is Radha Kund. Apart from that, nothing is there. 
Of this there is no doubt about it at all. Raghunath Das Goswami Pad that in Manasiksha at that time only it is actually there in the uh, written form in front of us that Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. After that it has come. Before it was that uh, he always used to write and after that it just came. Raghunath Das Goswami Pad Vairagya that his Adarsha Acharan Atikesi that Prem Seva Bhav that is the topmost that just by hearing the person will get mad. Our Bandev Goswami Maharaj also one day very secretly went to Prabhupada and speaking to him that inside my heart that I am feeling some reaction I am feeling I am getting some kind of uh, this seva I want to do of the lotus feet of Radharani that vilap wow, what kind of taste it is having that vilap of seva then Prabhupada actually speaking to Ban Goswami Maharaj that is Manasiksha and after that Sarniyam Dadashikam this all uh, he has, Prabhupada speaking perm, given permission to read all these kind of uh, things this for normal people this is just misconception on their part they are thinking that Raghunath Das Goswami Pad that uh, Prem Bhakti that is all uh, just one kind of uh, artificial it's not like that Prabhupada speaking these all Sahajiya people they are actually taking uh, all uh, they are making it so cheap so cheap by that you can't even imagine they are just artificially making use of this Vairagya of Raghunath Das Goswami Pad that just to get the lotus dust of the lotus particle of the Rupanuga Guru work that is our actual goal but we are not at all in the present situation like that so we have to get on to that situation presently and we have to move forward step by step when only then only it is possible under guidance of pure Guru Vaishnava otherwise it's not possible so, Raghunath Das Goswami the Vairagya you see that that even our, in our teeth just by taking grass even in our durva durva means grass in your teeth I am just I am doing Shastang Praman Pranam onto the lotus feet of all the Vaishnavas this is my actual prayer that onto the lotus feet of Krishna that Shri Srimad that birth after birth I should be the dust particle of the lotus feet of Rup Goswami Pad. I just want to become that only. It means that that Seva, the beautifulness of Seva, service, that bhav that should also come inside my heart. That kind of I don't want apart from that anything. That Srila Rup Goswami Pad's lotus feet, I want to become the lot- dust particle of that. That is my actual goal in my life. Dharma, Artha, Kaam, Moksha, nothing I want. All of these four Purusha, these are all foolish things to get. Only and only Srila Rup Goswami Pad's uh, dust particle that on all the Rupagun guns, those who are actual Rupagun, just to become the dust particle of them, I that is my actual final target. That is my final target to achieve. So like this, this is the actual rules. Now the actual question is coming that uh, this uh, some some skeleton discussion is very much important. Why? Because Raghunath Das Goswami Pad for each and every person that details they uh, don't have thorough knowledge of Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. Otherwise, they can misunderstand Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. So that's why I have just given one detailed uh, description. Uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, that's his Vairagya that kind of Vairagya that we cannot uh, copy that at all. Raghunath Das Goswami Paj, that Vairagya what we can see that we cannot copy at all. It is not at all possible for us. If we will imitate then definitely we will get destroyed in the Anarbhajan life. Totally. But uh, we can get the instruction out of that that Vairagya how we can attain that this kind of uh, uh, thinking should come presence should come 
how to follow that so in manasiksha shila ragunath das go swami path that is actually virchit that written by ragunath das go swami and out of 24/7 24 hours he was all the time busy in bhajan ragunath and not like that but also that the presently you can see radha kund and sham kund that Ram, radha kund and sham kund that kind of uh, uh, infra infrastructural work of uh, ragunath of radha kund and sham kund was done by someone through ragunath das goswami it was just like paddy field before but uh, just like a paddy field it was and mahaprabhu when he went to vrindavan there at the time of parikrama of sham kund and radha kund there nobody knows where actually is radha kund and sham kund where it is and prajwas is actually speaking they can't speak anything because they don't know where actually it is located but uh, baba what happened what you are speaking we don't know radha kund and sham kund where it is mahaprabhu speaking but they can't speak at all then mahaprabhu what happened that that in that paddy field that from that paddy field he is taking some water and speaking the stuff of radha kund he started speaking about the glorification of radha kund and is taking the water on his head after that the person is thinking that oh it looks like swim hari krishna is there he is look like looks like that only his external um, feature is actually thinking like a golden complexion now but he is uh, krishna himself that, that is a difference otherwise everything is krishna only swam krishna so like this ragunath das ko swami pad the vairagya of ragunath das ko swami that we can see that the reflection in shila gaur kishore das baba ji mana in full form and radha kund at the bank of radha kund he used to do bhajan he what all kind of things he has given to us that kind of topmost uh, treasure of bhajan under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav that what we need to learn about the actual paddhati of hari bhajan shuddha bhakti if we will not go and not follow then that vairag we will then we will not at all uh, get that vairagya if from the hands of sahajya it is very much order to protect this kind of shuddha bhakti but it doesn't mean that no one can get this it's not like that it's not like that and in the last when ragunath das ko swami just completely not at all taking uh, even water oh, only after 2 to 3 days after he used to take one pot very small pot of matha made of cow and after that what happened that uh, some prajwasi some thinking that baba will uh, not at all take and will die okay after 2 3 days he is actually taking so while do some one thing that may will make very big pot Here we are we are not at all getting this kind of big pot that uh, kadam flower is we are not at all getting so he just went to the uh, village of chandravali there is one kshetra there in braj he just went there at the village of chandravali and taking very one big kadam flower from there making a big pot so that uh, there he is taking special uh, uh, dona patta he is taking and is making one pot and ragunath goswami is speaking from where big the big dona where you are getting actually i am taking it from sakistali and uh, i also used to go this is actually in rasastali this point and that what i have already told that is sakistali means that is the actual place of chandravali ragunath goswami become after just hearing that he just taking that dona and completely uh, throw that dona just take it away why because Shrimati Radha Rani is on to the lotus feet of Shrimati Radha Rani. That so much uh, uh, prema she he is having. Even slightly, those persons who are away, who are giving clash or giving uh, distress to Radha Rani, he don't have any link. She don't have any link with that at all. Chandravali in between that she is taking Krishna away from Radha Rani, and Radha Rani is becoming very much depressed. Radha Rani is feeling very pain at that moment. and that kind of pain and distress it is just go on increasing that's why ragunath das goswami is vairagya is that is faithfulness that is prema for radharani's lotus feet that is called actual vairagya why he actually become angry 
बिकॉज दोज दया श्रीमती राधा रानी स्लाइटली क्लेश और सम डिस्ट्रेस समबडी इज गिविंग दैट आई विल थ्रो आई हैव नो कनेक्शन विद दैम एट ऑल आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ कनेक्शन विद दैम यू जस्ट टेक इट अवे थ्रो इट अवे एंड आफ्टर दैट दैट हाउ मच प्रेमा रघुनाथ दोस्त को स्वामी पाद इज हैविंग अदर बुक्स आर ऑल्सो देयर विच कन फाइंड ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रूफ रिगार्डिंग रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी पाद एंड रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी पाद यू कैन सी दैट हाउ ही बिकम सो मच क्राइंग डे एंड नाइट एंड बिकमिंग मैड बाई क्राइंग जस्ट विद द सेपरेशन ऑफ राधा रानी दैट ओ दे आर माई इफ यू नॉट डू कृप ऑन मी देन डेफिनेटली आई डोंट नीड कृष्ण ऑल्सो इन माई लाइफ दैट इफ यू आर कृपा इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर दैट वॉट इज कृष्ण कृष्ण यू ऑल्सो टेक इट अवे आई डोंट वॉन्ट कृष्ण एंड जस्ट बाई क्राइंग सो मच सो मच लाइक दैट रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी श्रीमती राधा रानी टेकिंग इज लोटस फीट सो मच प्रेमा शी ही इज हैविंग एंड नाउ यू सी माई एक्चुअल कंडीशन नाउ दैट इफ यू विल नॉट एट डू नॉट एट ऑल डू क्रिप ऑन मी देन आई विल जस्ट डाई लाइक दैट इट इज बेटर टू डाई इफ यू विल नॉट डू डू क्रिप ऑन मी सो यू कैन सी द एक्चुअल प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी I will not at all stay. I will not at all live. I will not at all live at all. I will just uh, burn up my life. Just by thinking like this, that onto your lotus feet, I am taking the support of that. that on your lotus feet i will take it you see so much prema so much prema on to the lotus feet of radha and you can't even imagine so whatever be the case now this our god in our god ya samaj this manas shiksha and that niyan dadashakam this is very much famous in our vaishnav samaj is and is very much important for each and every one there is nobody is getting the eligibility to do this kind of part but under the guidance of pure guru vishnu we can do that but very less people can do selected people that in this in sadak conditions and in pure condition it is very much uh, essential to do all this and those who are in sadan kriya for them it is not at all possible to do those who are actually in sadan kriya at the level of sadan kriya those who are not at all coming on to sadhana bhakti for them sadhana kriya those who are in sadhana kriya for them it is not at all not at all possible to read all this those who are confined up till sadhana kriya they cannot read this at all when sadhan bhakti it means that our swarup shakti if we are getting full kripi of swarup shakti after that only it is possible to read this when sadhan bhakti will start from then that under the guidance of guru varg bhakti vinod thakur and prabhu pas giving us the instructions that this sadak and for all those siddh purushgan it is actually essential maybe that all those who are in sadhan sadhana bhakti for incense sadhana that it can just be counted but those who are siddh for them this is actually sadhya vastu this is not at all sadhan at all that is the object to be attained that so much big thing is this manasiksha that you can't even imagine it is out of our imagination shri krishna shri krishna vishayani shraddha when i will i'll be discussing it tomorrow on this point that shri krishna vishayani shraddha when it is getting uh, uh, matured then the sadak what is actually necessary for the actual anushthan of uh, that that's in in manasiksha that is in pure full form it is actually there in fine form it is written shriman mahaprabhu that uh, topmost parshad that the actual vigrah of uh, vairagya pratimurti that swarup rupanugvark 
दैट जगत वरण्य शिला रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी बाद दैट इज गिविंग द्लोकाज दैट श्री मन शिक्षा वॉट ही हैज एक्चुअली ऑलरेडी गिवन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ श्रीमती देयामती आकर गुरु श्रीमती राधा रानी इज गाइडेंस जस्ट बाय द एक्चुअल गाइडेंस ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी ओनली बाय हर गाइडेंस ओनली इट इज पॉसिबल टू राइट लाइक दिस सो रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी पाद अवर रूप गोस्वामी पाद शिल रूप गोस्वामी पाद भक्ति रामर सिंधु बिफोर राइटिंग दैट ही ऑलरेडी रिटर्न दैट आई एम बराक रूप दैट सेम चैतन्य महाप्रभु आई एम परात पर अखिलेश्वर प्राणनाथ ऑन टू हिज लोटस फीट आई वॉन्ट टू टेक दैट ऑन माई चेस्ट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू हग हर हिज लोटस फीट ऑन माई चेस्ट ऑन ऑन टू माई हेड दैट बाई द कृपा ऑफ दैट दैट आई एम यूजलेस नंबर वन आई एम नथिंग एट ऑल बट स्टिल बाई हिज कृपा I am Barak Rupa. I am useless number one. Like this, he is uh, showing the Trinada Pibhav to us. That Shri Manasiksha, he is actually getting under the guidance of Radha Rani. She has actually written. He has actually written that this is the actual uh, heart of all the God Yavashnav. Like without water, the fish cannot live at all. Without water, fish cannot live at all. It is not at all possible for fish to live without water. in the same manner that yugal sarkar that top most seva of uh, radha govind under the guidance of shila rupa goswami when you are doing those who are getting successful by doing that that kind of for, for them to get out of the water like fish cannot go so if the fish is going out of water how much it is just like she is feeling lifeless without no life is there for the fish without water in the same way that apart from uh, speaking about uh, pure guru vaishnav and the seva of krishna without speaking about them the actual stage of pure guru vaishnav is also like that that topmost prem my seva of bhagwan those who are all the time busy in that prem my seva of bhagwan it's like that only comparable to that same fish condition of the fish so this godia that bhagirath of all the godia vaishnavs that shri la sachidanand bhakti vinod thakur that shri the on this shri man shiksha that bhajan darpan one given one commentary on that bhajan darpan he has given one taken uh, temp commentary on that and bhajan darpan that bhashya he has just written that and inside that shlokas that actual deep meaning is there that externally which is not at all possible to understand at all that uh, the actual shastras which are is of two types one is that inner inner meaning what no uh, all do not know and other is the external meaning two meanings are there internal and external meanings so it is very much necessary to have these kind of meanings that in bhashya chila sachidanand bhakti no thakur has just written that about sakrit that padanuvad that is actually connected with this commentary only in that what is there that you are getting more and more taste why because maybe rasala is very good and in that kapoor ilachi everything is there in that rasala if you are adding that then it is becoming more and more tasteful more and more full of rasa in the same way it's like that like in rasala may be very kapoor ilachi long and just by it adding it you are getting more and more taste that bhakti no thakur is actually that seventh go swami that in gaudiya bhajan that is called the bhagirath of gaudiya bhajan that who under the guidance of goswamis he has given the topmost uh, rasa of all the goswamis granth because we cannot understand the actual meaning of what goswamis has written in front of us it is just by possible by shri bhaktivinoda thakur that this bhajan darpan bhashya commentary 
that the actual inner meaning of the shlokas in details he is actually speaking each and every word the what is the inner meaning of each and every word the actual meaning deep meaning that bhaktivinoda thakur has just uh, made the arrangement bhaktivinoda thakur has made the arrangements for that and by this more and more taste we are getting and definitely taste is there but in bhashya shila sachidanand bhaktivinoda thakur mahashay that uh, about his sakita paddan vad he is making more and more deep meaning out of that and more and more gaurav we that uh, it is getting matured i'll give you one example regarding this that bhagwan shri krishna that in the transcendental body so much jewels are there so much jewels are there and diamonds are there on the transcendental body of krishna so much very nicely it is decorated that from his arms up till his uh, head transcendental crest jewel on his head but if someone is speaking that the actual beauty of krishna it is all because of the jewels and diamonds whatever it is just by uh, decorating it with that it is becoming more and more good but in the shastra it is actually opposite but shastra actually speaking rightly we are thinking wrongly opposite shastra speaking that all kind of jewels and diamonds what krishna is wearing and maybe very nice nice clothes and all uh, gold diamond whatever he is taking but this the actual beauty of krishna that question if you are actually coming in order to increase that that is totally opposite your vichar is totally opposite that this is or he is the bhushan of all bhushan that what kind of uh, abhushan or just they are actually respecting krishna because uh, because krishna is taking them on his transcendental body because the body of krishna transcendental body has so much a nice uh, saundarya that even diamonds what diamonds and jewels what kind of respect they can give to krishna's transcendental body because diamonds and jewels don't have any relationship with krishna's body at all jo krishna is giving respect to those uh, jewels and diamonds jewels and diamonds are getting respected by getting on to the body transcendental body of krishna that the beauty of krishna is so much that just by seeing his own swarup uh, in the pillar he is thinking who who swarup is this krishna is like that it's he it's his own swarup just by seeing his own swarup he is becoming very just amazed and surprised to see himself only so what kind of jewels and diamonds can give them uh, give them respect how they can just increase this uh, beautifulness because this is actually infinity krishna is infinity that's why krishna is giving respect to all those diamonds and jewels it written in the shastras so so aisa hai so like this is the case bhakti vinod thakur has uh, given all from all the shastras he has just uh, collecting that kind from the ocean of shastra shila sachidanand bhakti vinod thakur from the ocean of uh, the ocean just by uh, doing the manthan that he is taking the actual uh, resultant butter from that just by churning that water he is uh, churning that milk he is taking the butter already it is written in shad go swami ashtakam it's already written there but in the seventh go swami about that we we cannot understand about that about seventh go swami after that we only understand that seventh go swami what he has done the topmost shila sachidan bhakti mo thakur in that we are actually becoming topmost uh, relished because what which our bhakti mo thakur has written that even our father can't even speak like that that all the goswami shastra just by reading that and can give us the churning the milk we are getting the butter that the topmost rasa we are getting that's why she, the kripa of bhakti mo thakur is very very important bhakti mo thakur so on the basis of kripa bhakti mo thakur only by taking the instructions of gurudev under the under the anugati of gurudev jaiv dharma shiksha amrat bhajan rahasya mahaprabhu shiksha and whatever all kirtan so much kirtan are there we just need to understand that completely chaitanya bhagavat that the actual uh, uh, commentary on shrimad bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrita chaitanya bhagavat all what not bhagavadar kamari chimala from there up till all 
वॉट नॉट प्रोवाइडेड बाय भक्ति मनोहर ठाकुर भक्ति मनोहर ठाकुर एक्सटर्नली बाय एक्सटर्नल मूड बाय एक्सटर्नल विचार वी कैन सी दैट दैट ये दैट बिफोर टेकिंग गुरु चरण आश्रय ही एस रिटर्न सो मच बुक्स बिफोर ओनली लॉट ऑफ बुक्स ही एस रिटर्न बिफोर बाय टेकिंग गुरु अनुगत्य बट इट इज द एक्चुअल रोल्स दैट जस्ट बाय गेटिंग द फुल कृपा ऑफ गुरु गुरु पाद पद्म दैट काइंड ऑफ शास्त्र विचार इज गेटिंग इन साइड अवर हार्ट बट ही इज एक्चुअली नित्य पार्षद ही इज नित्य पार्षद ही इज द नित्य अटर्नल पार्षद ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु सो फॉर हिम दिस इज ऑल एक्चुअली एक्सटर्नल विचार जस्ट टू टेक दीक्षा सो विदाउट टेकिंग दीक्षा वी डोंट हैव एनी एलिजिबिलिटी फॉर शास्त्रास बट भक्ति नो ठाकुर वी कैन सी इज एटर्नल पार्षद इट मीन्स दैट ही इज एटर्नल पार्षद ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु एंड ऑफ राधा गोविंद that's why he is able to write like that so that is a top most point very surprising to see that's why ek jo only one jev dharma if only one jev dharma i am actually just took taking full pratigya by promising you if some one jev dharma can get established in someone's heart completely only one jev dharma is getting completely established in the someone's heart then only one jev dharma i am speaking if it is getting established in one's heart then everything is done for that particular jiva then he will just get out of this bondage that all the goswamis whatever granth they have written that kind of actual rasa they can uh, he can feel that inside his heart and now we have actually this much of time that thousands and thousands of books goswamis has written how we can understand these are because our uh, mind is very limited and we are actually going away from this material world we don't have any kind of time to understand all this so it is very much surprising to think so because bhakti vinod thakur has given us the top most thing if bhakti vinod thakur hasn't done that then we are we will be there stay stationary at that position only and prabhupad also speaking the same thing i am not at all speaking prabhupad speaking this point that shila sachidanand bhakti vinod thakur mahashay ji has given that uh, top most treasure for us what he has done nobody can do and we just need to follow our, under his anugatya we just need to follow that that's it if uh, we will do cheating fraudster and you know, all these things we will be busy then krishna bhajan is not at all possible at all i have already written that i have given so much answers and lo- lot of time i have giving them request but now i have written it that now up till uh, this now i will not at all go into this because nobody is coming in front what to do nobody inside the heart of someone has so much uh, that baba is speaking right nobody is speaking that at all nobody has this kind of uh, uh, bal power so what we can do so much kind of uh, from years and years after i am just giving so much energy by the grace of nitana drup but every, everything is going opposite what to do okay whatever be the case what i can do Uh, i have done normally what i have done i am actually doing it normally now but maybe now it's the will of krishna what you can do all my efforts is actually just by the actual vidhan of krishna i can only do it if krishna wants that's it so bhakti vinod thakur also has uh, all the shastra just by churning that that tatva siddhant he has given up till what point i can speak that tatva vivek of uh, bhakti no thakur you can see that if someone will do read that under he will become mad that so much vedant sutra top most uh, vichar he has taken out of that in tatva vivek it means that if you will speak then everything all solution is given by bhakti no thakur to us you understand the importance of bhakti no thakur uh, on amnaye and tatva vivek also that all detailed discussion he has given and kirtan also infin infinite kirtan are there what bhakti no thakur has given each one and each and every kirtan there actually hidden treasure of bhajan is given the meaning of bhajan is given in that each and every kirtan treasure is there secret treasure that bhashya at the starting of the bhashya at the introductory portion of the bhashya before writing that ragunath das goswami on to the lotus feet of ragunath das goswami just by taking dandavat uh, bhakti no thakur taking his blessings 
and those who are who is actually destroying all kind of that Shriman Mahaprabhu who has taken the only alone Sharanapati they have taken just in order to show us that Raghunath Das Goswami that same Raghunath Das Goswami is Sharanapati if you if you can understand that kind of Sharanapati each and every life of one person should be there in order to get Bhagavad Prapti that kind of Sharanagati we need Sarup Daudar Goswami also on the instructions of Mahaprabhu Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad Shri Bhajan, uh, Rahajan, Bhajan Rahasya Siksha he has taken Mahaprabhu has just accepted that this all actually all the actual uh, uh, deep vichar of uh, Bhajan what we can find that this kind of conclusion of Bhajan in order to just collect all together all together collect that what we are getting through Swarup Dhamadar Goswami by the instructions of Mahaprabhu and Mahaprabhu Swayam what he, what he is actually doing that in order to teach us Raghunath Das Goswami has quoted that in front of us just like the topmost treasure this all kind of instructions after getting that Sriman Siksha just for our actual Mangal it is actually written by Raghunath Das Goswami Pad Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad onto his lotus feet I am paying Dandava and that Sri Manasiksha that Bhashya I am actually just reading at so much power I am feeling that on the Kripa on the basis of the Kripa of Raghunath Das Goswami I today this Bhashya I am actually going to start what I have uh, told about Srila Rupa Goswami Pads uh, that when Rupa Goswami Pads writing the Barasamrit Sindhu Bhashya that he is writing that Shloka calling Shloka this uh, inside Manasiksha, that's introductory speech is going on. Just uh, uh, forgive me for that. This Manasiksha inside that, this introductory speech is going on. There are actually 12 shlokas are there. It is just externally, it is just like a fraction of a second till go but it is just a very deep ocean of prem bhava if you will go in this ocean then it is impossible to float into that so much deep vichar is there in each and every word that shri manasiksha inside that that 12 shlokas of gaudiya vaishnav they are like the topmost pran dhan that is the topmost life of gaudiya bhajan and raghunath das goswami just by targeting his own heart that our Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Raghunath Das Goswami used to speak. Our Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj always used to speak. No. That in the morning time you just need to on your uh, you just need to slap your chappal on your mouth hundred times on this kind of uh, heart is so much uh, unstable and chanchal that uh, Shri our Rasulullah uh, Raghunath Goswami our Manasiksha he has written has given us the topmost standard of uh, he is increasing the topmost standard of our Gaudiya Bhajan that is actually very deep vichar because this commentary support is very much important like Vaishnav can you just uh, read that but it's good but the actual deep meaning if you want then you just need to go through the get into deep into the ocean of that commentary or the Bhashya, it is just externally you can see there are 12 shlokas but inside 12 shlokas all lalasa of bhajan that topmost uh, greediness for bhajan the actual prabhav everything is there inside the heart what is there everything in order to rectify this heart that this uh, foolish heart in order to just Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj speaking that you hundred times you just need to slap it with chappal hundred times a day every morning after getting up so much actually it's bad you have to punish it Prabhupada has written this point that I've already done the introductory speech by the Kripa of Krishna and by your Kripa, I have just told. Why? Because introductory speech, if I will not speak, 
then there will be some spardha spardha means some audacity can come if someone thinking that okay that from tomorrow what i will do that ragunath ko swami pad under his anugatya what i will do that rupanug bhajan i will start and in the in the room i will start rupanug bhajan about this i'll be discussing this is strictly prohibited to do like that prabhupad is strictly prohibited that process this already being told by prabhupad so how we have to do anushilan about this i'll be discussing it tomorrow today i will i don't have time to just uh, uh, do the actual uh, charcha and i will be just giving uh, rest up till this point the 12 shlokas are there and in this 12 shloka what not is there inside them the top most deep secret treasure is there like in the ocean deep and deep if you go inside the ocean the name of ocean is ratnakar if you go upside the ocean then you can find only infinity infinity water uh, waves of ocean are, waves of water are uh, getting but when you will go deep into the ocean the actual name of ocean is ratnakar when more and more deep you will go that very very invaluable jewels and diamonds you will find inside so in the same way that those who are in this bhajan rajya those who are actually want they are actually greedy about bhajan rajya then for them this all things are there for them otherwise all those who are cheater fraudsters foolish number 1 in the form of acharya for them it is not at all them for kapat people it is not at all there just forgive me up till this i'll be giving rest today आदान स्त्रीन दंतरीद जचि पुनः पुनः श्रीमदुपदुजुलि स्वांग जन्म जन्मनी वाछकुर्वश्य कृपा सिंधुभुष पतितान पावनभ्यो वैष्णव्यो नमः